Welcome to Excel Campus. My name is John and in this video I'm going to explain how to create a list of unique values with the advanced filter. So this is a follow-up video to a previous video where I explained how to do this with the remove duplicates feature in Excel and also using a macro. But there were some great comments that came in that said we can also do this uh, using the advanced filter. I believe it was Bart and Charlie and Leonid all uh, made that suggestion. So I want to share a video here on how to do that technique as well. So in our example here we're going to take the salesperson column and we just want to create a list of all the unique values in this column here. You can see we have some duplicate values and we just want to create a list of unique values. So Excel has another tool built in called Advanced Filter and that's on the Data tab of the ribbon here and there's an Advanced button right here. And we can click that button. Now we'll bring up the Advanced Filter window and we have a few options here. So first is the Action section. We want to copy our data to another location. So we're gonna choose this uh, radio button because we wanna copy those unique records to a new location. The next thing we need to do is select the list range. So this is the data that the advanced filter is going to evaluate. And currently that's set to my entire table. So we wanna change that. So I'm gonna click this button here and this will allow me to make a selection on a range. And we just want to select uh, column D here. So I can hover over the top half of the header of my table and just select, just left click twice to select that entire column. If you're not using an Excel table, that's totally fine. Uh, you'll just select the entire column of data that you wanna evaluate and you'll see some range references like you see right here when you make that selection. But since we are using a table, we do see those structured references, which is the table name and the column name here. So there's two options there. Doesn't matter which one you do. So I'm gonna select, click that button there. So we have our range, and now we need to select a location that we wanna copy the output to. And so we'll just click this button here. Now one drawback of the advanced filter is this location needs to be on the same sheet. So I'm just gonna scroll over here a little horizontally uh, to a blank column and we'll just select column M right here. So we'll say M1 will be the starting location of the output. Just click this button again. So now we have our list range, our copy to range, criteria range can be left blank. And then we're gonna click this check box right here that says unique records only. So check that box there and then click OK. And we can see now that a uh, list of unique values has been output right here in column N. So here's all of our unique values uh, with the salesperson at the top, the header there, and then all the unique values from that column. So all of the uh, duplicate values have been removed. If we look at column D over here, all the duplicates have been removed and we just have that list of uniques. And so one other minor drawback here is that the formatting is not uh, copied over as well. We just get the values uh, pasted right here in column in. So we don't get the formatting from the table or whatever type of formatting is applied to the original cells. Uh, they don't paste over with the advanced filter. And then as I mentioned before, the other small disadvantage there is that it has to be pasted or output on the same sheet. Typically we want this list of uniques on a new sheet or a different sheet. So then we could just go uh, select this range here and then cut and paste it to a new sheet. So as I mentioned in the previous video, I also wrote a macro that does all of those steps for you with the click of a button. So I'll just quickly show it again. If we're just to select the salesperson column here and then I've added the macro to my macros toolbar and it's a button right here that says list uniques. And if I just click that button, that will add a new sheet to my workbook, uh, do a copy and paste, and then remove all the duplicates and keep the formatting. So one click operation there makes it very quick. And of course that macro is available for free download, excelcampus.com, I'll put the link below the video. And the previous video walks through that macro and exactly how it works. So I hope that helps. Thanks again to everyone for suggesting the advanced filter as another way to go about uh, removing duplicates and listing unique values. If you have any other ways to go about this, please leave a comment below. And if you'd like to learn more about the advanced filter feature, check out my Filters 101 course. I have an entire module dedicated to advanced filter and you'll learn how to filter multiple columns with multiple criteria and logic using the advanced filter. If you enjoyed that video, there are a few simple things you can do to help me out. 
If you are watching this video on YouTube, click the like button below the video and leave a comment with any questions or feedback. And please don't forget to subscribe to my free email newsletter to get more tips and tricks that will help you learn Excel. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you soon.